This isometric illustration shows a common naming convention used for rolling offsets. Note the relationship of the set to the roll and rise values. If there is no roll component, the set will be equal to the rise. If there is no rise component, the set will be equal to the roll. This illustration shows the relationship of the set to the roll and rise for two parallel pipes in an elevation view. The goal of this video is to show how the dimensions for the run, set, and travel of a rolling offset can be found using only basic tools such as a tape, square, and pencil. The first step is to draw a horizontal line with the length equal to the offset's roll. Next, add a perpendicular line with a length equal to the offset's rise. Repeat this process starting from the end of the last line drawn, but this time draw the roll vertically down and the rise horizontally to the right. Now connect the start points of both roll lines and connect the end points of both rise lines. These lines are the hypotenuse or set values of the two identical triangles. The triangles are right angle triangles with identical angles as shown here using the colored shapes. As with any right angle triangle, when the non 90 degree angles are added together, they will total 90 degrees. And since the set values are also identical, when their ends are connected together, the result is a 45 degree right angle triangle. Using this resulting triangle and a tape, we can measure directly the set, run, and travel dimensions. But this is only for a 45 degree rolling offset. What if we need the set, run, and travel dimensions for an offset with some other bend angle? Can the same method be used for them? Yes, it can, but with the following additional steps. First, save or redraw one of the original triangle vertical lines. Now, measure down this line 10 units. We'll use inches and draw a reference line to the vertex of the 45 degree angle. This reference line is used along with a factor that corresponds to the bend angle found in a table of factors for common angles. The factor indicates the distance to measure vertically up or down parallel to the reference line. If the desired bend angle is greater than 45 degrees, measure up from the reference line by the amount of the corresponding factor. If the desired bend angle is less than 45 degrees, measure down from the reference line by the amount of the corresponding factor. If we use a 60 degree bend angle for our example, the factor from the table is 4.226. 60 degrees is greater than 45 degrees, so we measure up from the reference line. Now we draw a line from the intersection of the parallel line and the run side of the triangle to the other 45 degree angle vertex and erase all of the lines no longer needed. We're left with the triangle where the set, run, and travel of the 60 degree rolling offset can now be measured directly. Now all that's left is for you to try the method out for yourself. I've included some example problems with the answers to help you out.